channel I know you're wondering all about this beautiful crowd and well as well as about who is here who's my guest today bikini mama bikini mama bikini bkb if you follow my channel you know that she has made every single bikini that I have worn in every single competition uh, you have come with me for fittings and you have seen her doing some bikinis so today she's going to talk to you about everything you need to know when you're ordering a bikini so we will start probably with the bikini shape. You need to know, girls, that every single federation has different rules, different cuts, mm -hmm. and the style that you can actually wear on the stage with your federation on each competition. <laughs> so basically, from the bra, we have three different shapes you can choose from. Uh, first one is a sweetheart, which is like a hybrid between the Russian shape padded one, which came actually from the Russia, most of the designers in Russia started to um, make, make this design. Mm -hmm. And then we have the NPC style cut triangle, give me a second, I'm just going to try one, <laughs> which is this one. So triangle one, NPC style, this one is good for two bros competition, but you can see that also on other competitions and stages like uh, sometimes at UKUP or PCA and other federations like NABA or BABA. Um, this style of bra you can see at PCA but it's not good for two bras and mm -hmm. those yeah. kind of competitions. Uh, this one you can wear UKUP, PCA, Baba Naba again is really nicely done if you are not very gifted like me on this like part. Me. I'm going to show you the extra padded. So the padding there it's really nice, it feels really soft. When I used the compit, I didn't have this kind of options. I'm gonna be honest. So this is you, you know how, yeah. how how does it feel? And it makes you look like you actually have something there. It does. I mean if you see my pictures from my competitions, I don't have anything. And wearing this kind of style of bra, like really I really look like I actually had something when I don't have anything at all. And it helps because if you're competing against the girl which is having implants and is standing next to you, you know, the difference is obvious, the proportions are completely different. Mm -hmm. So you need to look like you have something there. And even if you are cup A or flat B, go for size C because it will make you proportionally look much better. Yeah, I remember when I got my first bikini, um, Kat actually asked me what was my bra size. Um, so I told her my bra size and she's like, no, that's not your size. Like you need to go for, you'll go for a C, for a C. And I was like, what, what is she talking about? Like, she's crazy. It's like, go to Primark, try some bras and let me know what you think. And actually I tried the C cup and I was like, I know what you mean, because actually it makes you look proportionate in here. Um, I guess that like your hips and everything. Yes, definitely. So you always need to try the bras. It's good to try them because every single designer is making the bras differently. Even mm -hmm. here in the UK, there's so many of us making bikinis here. And not everyone is using that cut and styles that actually fits properly on your chest and is sitting there as it should. Mm -hmm. I saw so many girls on stage they are having big gaps under their boobies and it, mm -hmm. it, it looks awful or they are just not wearing the bra properly and the gaps is here especially on the side balls it doesn't look mm -hmm. good it 
makes you not feel confident on stage and that's the last thing you want to actually experience on stage. You just need to enjoy the day and not having problems with your bra over there or with anything else regarding bikinis. So yeah, this one is the best one probably for girls that are flat chested. Also, the sweetheart shapes sits perfectly mm -hmm. on even natural boobies or implants. Mm -hmm. I, with implants, will go probably for this shape if I will still compete this year. I'm not sure about it, but yeah, I will probably go for this shape. But as well, we have Russian style cups without the push ups for girls with implants, implants or big boobs. boobs. You still have the extra pocket there if you need to push them from any sides that is needed because with implants there is other other problems. For example, sometimes the gap is too big, too big and it doesn't look good, so you still need to push them from sides or the implants are not done very Evenly. well. Yeah. And yeah, so basically you need to somehow balance your mm -hmm. bra and your boobs in your yeah. in your bikinis. Yeah, so, because at the end of the day, what they also look on stage is like symmetry. Definitely, lot, definitely. So. The judges are looking for the symmetry in the front pose, on the side pose and back pose also. Uh, when we're talking about the back pose, I'm moving from the bra shape, so Russian, wired not push-up, one with push-up, or the sweetheart, or the basic triangle NPC cut. The main one, I'm not starting with two bros competition and I'm not starting with NPCs because many of you competing with other federations. Two bros is still very young. I know that there will be many girls competing over there, but let's start with the mm -hmm. high-waisted. They're in the trend at the moment and everyone is asking about the high-waisted because it makes you look much better. The high-waisted sides, connectors and bikinis makes you look smaller on your waist and makes your legs look much longer they and, do. <laughs> yeah. and this is basically how they looks like here yeah? you need to wear the sides evenly almost as well as your belly bottom yeah oh yeah oh i remember when you told me that i was like yeah. i've never worn my underwear or my bikinis for the beach that high so to me it was really weird but it is true that when you are looking at yourself in the mirror then you, your legs look like super long and my legs are like like they're here okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm so tiny um, and then my waist look like suddenly like it just make you have like that proper kind of like yes x shape the waist look it's much so tinier and smaller yeah. in high-waisted bikinis than in normal bikinis that's <laughs> my little one coming here Again, with the high-waisted, you have three, four actually different cuts of the bottoms. You have the pro cut, then you have mini cut, then you have the Brazilian cut for girls. They want their glutes look more peachy. And then you have the moderate cut, which is covering three quarter even more sometimes mm -hmm. of your glutes. This one is completely different from the high-waisted, but even those you can wear quite high. The, mm -hmm. the connectors can, can be done nicely and wear again a high-waisted but the cut is mm -hmm. completely different. It looks almost like a pro cut. Mm. But it makes your glutes look really rounded and fuller. This is, this is amazing cut and I really like this mm -hmm. one. Some of the girls are asking for moderate cut or Brazilian cut because they compete in with different federation and not in UK. But again, it can be done. To do a little bit of a recap, now we've seen the different kind of uh, cups and the yep. kind of bottoms. So, for example, for UK BFF, if they want mm -hmm. to compete, yeah. uh, what kind of bikini would you recommend? What kind of For UK style? BFF, it will be definitely the Russian high-waisted mm -hmm. style. Mm -hmm. that, that's actually what all those girls are wearing internationally on mm -hmm. IFBB stages. So I will go for Russian cut and high-waisted. Definitely. Okay. Um, for UK UP? It can be this one and it can be the NPC style as well. Um, then two bros? Two bros, so definitely on the NPC style. Mm -hmm. You will not look good there in the Russian style and the mm -hmm. high waisted bottoms. And for two bros, the cut, does the bottom, does it need to be a specific one? 
The two bros is more like a pro NPC cut or pro, no, pro mini NPC cut. Mm -hmm. It's the American style cut of bikinis. It's uh, completely different from those you used to see on the stages around the uh, UK. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's very important for you guys to, to know because obviously um, that's something, something that they look at, I think, at two bros in general is like glutes. So I think like, yes. you need to show them more than you might. It's not only the glutes, but yeah, the back pose is most of the yeah. time just uh, winning <laughs> your, <laughs> your competition. And you can see the girls at two rows, uh, the standard is absolutely amazing there. And the bikinis uh, should be done properly and not let you down. For Waba or Naba? Waba Naba, they always go for like a mixed style of bikinis, but again, the high waisted bottom made the way over there as well, mm -hmm. because it just makes you look better. Yeah, and then I think we'll have PCA. PCA, Russian style, push up, not push up, again, high waisted. I saw the girls competing on the same bikinis yeah. uh, from two bros at PCA, and when they stand next to each other, like the NPC style bikinis against the high waisted, mm -hmm. the Russian style bikinis, the high waisted always looks better than the NPC style. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you. You know, the PCA is not very restricted about the bikinis a style, it's just the coverage of the bottom. and. Yeah, it's just the high waist looks better. It yeah. just makes you look better. Yeah, so we will say that mainly um, if they have to compete in any federation, except for two bros, we would recommend maybe going better with a high waisted Russian. Yeah. And then two bros for sure, the NPC style one. You can always but waste the two bros NPC style um, high waisted high -waist as well. Mm -hmm. But you need to ask me or your bikini designer oh, to, to make the connectors that way mm -hmm. because otherwise they're gonna be too short. Another question, something that uh, girls might, n might want to know is um, how can they choose the color that is going to suit them better? Uh, because many times, you know, a girl might ask like, oh, I've seen that this year red is the color, but maybe red doesn't suit you, so you cannot wear a color that is not gonna make it. It is always out. based on your hair color, on the type of your body and your feature, is basically how you look like. But as well, you need to think about the competition and the color of the background of the stage. Ooh, okay. Many times I saw girls competing in the blue bikini with a blue background, and it looks awful. You are basically disappearing on stage. Mm -hmm. There are some very strong colors always, they're going to help you to standing out from other colors like red, blue, I think it must be really electric blue and royal blue or the red crystals must be from different maker than... It's just so, so many yeah. things that make you look better than the other mm -hmm. bikini girl on stage. Mm -hmm. And for the colors, yes, each season is different. Red is always yeah. there. Red army, last... Mm -hmm. It's not even last season, it's many years the red is always there mm -hmm. and it looks amazing but mm -hmm. we have at the moment like a dark collections mm -hmm. black violet purple aubergine mm -hmm. all those colors like a dark shades are coming mm -hmm. quite a lot mm -hmm. on stages and especially this spring season the emerald green and some really really dark shades of bikini yeah not 60 mm. shades of grey, <laughs> maybe 60 shades of green. No. Crazy request for the bikini colors and I actually told the girls not wearing them because when they will have the tan on, oh, they yeah. will look half naked. So there are some, yeah. some colors you actually cannot wear on so stage. Like, it is nice to have them or there are some colors that will make you look like a complete beginner and you don't want that. After yeah. all these weeks of dieting and eating chicken yeah. and broccoli, you actually want to stand out on so stage which, and which enjoy colors, the day. So which colors would you say no to a competitor? Like what At colors? the moment it will be baby pink. It still looks awful on stage with the light. It yeah. looks even lighter and no, it doesn't no. look great. There are some other colors. Yeah. Like that will... You will yeah. just disappear. It will look different yeah, it on... Yeah, just the same color of the <laughs> tan. <laughs> it looks different on dark skin girls, you yeah. know? It looks much better. But yeah. if I will wear this, I'm gonna look half naked on stage. Okay, so um, imagine that we're gonna order a bikini. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of um, style... Well, not, not styles. 
um, levels of bikinis do you have? There are different levels. They started from the budget bikinis and quite cheap bikinis. Then we have uh, bronze, silver and gold level and all is based on the amount of crystal I'm using on bikinis. Mm -hmm. Simple okay. as that. Mm -hmm. So gold will be fully crystallized? Fully crystallized is for gold. I'm trying to keep the prices still low and I'm not increasing the prices during the year as many designers do and I'm trying to keep the prices the same mm -hmm. the whole year. Mm -hmm. That's great. Gold level, silver level, still looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Budget bikini, <laughs> still really no, nice. Sometimes it. less is more. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. I really like it. And when you actually use Swarovski crystal, because Swarovski is different color than it's, uh, it's just better quality. Mm -hmm. It's really shiny, so you don't need a lot. This is another example of gold bikinis. Mm -hmm. So when is it fully crystallized? It's just different. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how shiny it is. And it's not red, like red. Yeah. Even red, we have so many different shades of red. And as I said, the crystal will completely change the look of your bikinis mm -hmm. and makes you look even better and brighter from the red next to you. Yeah, and in terms of um, fabric, mm -hmm. so there is velvet. I'm using Italian and Russian velvet at the moment. Uh, sometimes I'm buying a few from Holland. Mm -hmm. They're really, really nice quality. They're better quality than the English one. Yeah. Absolutely better one. And then a metallic lycra okay. for way stretch. Mm -hmm. That's all what I'm using at the moment yeah. for bikinis and those materials are probably the best. Yeah. How many weeks in advance do you need to know the measures? So, as I said, I can take the order and prepare the bikinis for you even 20 weeks before the competitions because mm -hmm. I know how much you're going to probably lose. I can predict the measurements mm -hmm. and help you to choose the bra. But for the bikini bottoms, I need the updates every two, three weeks. <laughs> I need the updates every two, three weeks and as well all your front and back pose. Pictures. Pictures, yeah. yes. Most of the girls are having the bikini bottoms finalized six to four weeks before competitions. Mm. At the moment it takes me about uh, five to six weeks to make the bikinis because it's getting quite busy. Yeah, I but see. That's so exciting. Sometimes we can, we can actually make your bikinis very quickly within two, yeah. three weeks. Okay girls, so this is all about bikinis. I think this video has actually given you enough information on how you can order a bikini uh, and essentially what you need to, to know before you order the bikini. <laughs> we have a special guest here, Lily. Say hello. Bye. Bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. And um, thank you very much Kat for, for everything. You will have Kat's website through the whole video and also in the link down below. So you can contact her for bikinis. Yay! I want to make hot. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Pero bueno, Lily. Pero bueno. Hombre. No? We're filming. Beautiful. Oh, you're so you like cute. It? Yes. <laughs> I actually love this one. It's a little Yeah. Oh, look at you. Changing my settings. <laughs> I'm gonna have an alarm or something. <laughs> through the day. <laughs> Someone just